So today's video, I am so excited. I'm a fragrance fanatic. It's going to be about my designer fragrance collection. I have a fragrance problem. Uh, I have a lot, a little too many, but I'm not ready for rehab. <laughs> it's an obsession. <laughs> so I thought I'd sit down and I'll share with you my little designer collection and I'm sure you're gonna love it. So let's get started. First up, I have this one. It's called Zadig and Voltaire. This is amazing, you guys. This has been sort of my signature scent. Um, it's creamy. It does have cream in it. It's got sandalwood and I love sandalwood. Uh, and it just makes me feel like it just caresses your body like when you're wearing silk it's so good it is so good but you can't blind buy this you have to go and try it first uh just because it's not for everyone it smells very different from you know what other people typically like um it's heavy it has long durability you know the sillage is very wide a lot of people will be able to smell you within your proximity so yeah i love this one and i layer it with other fragrances as well so it's good this is decadence by mark jacobs yes the bottle is so beautiful <laughs> i am drawn to packaging good packaging always gets me but anyway this is a very popular fragrance it comes in a green bottle but i bought it in the limited edition bottle um hence the gold but this one there's a theme to all my fragrances they all are sexy musky uh deep scents uh you gotta be a very confident person to wear these fragrances because people can smell you from across the room and oh it is so good it is so good you guys i could go on and on about this uh but you know let me know in the comment section if you want me to do an in-depth review of each of my fragrances or any particular fragrance just leave it in the comment section and i'll look into that but this is a must try as well it's very popular but i think everyone can wear it differently you know our ph our skin um chemistry is different so it could smell a bit different on each person but this is a love and do not be alarmed when you see my bottles look really full but i have so many fragrances and i i try to get through them but um yeah it's a work in progress and i have a very sensitive nose so i don't need to smell um i don't need to spray too much uh, if you get what I mean. I just spray a little bit, two, three sprays get me through the day. So uh, yeah, that's why my bottles look like I haven't touched them, but trust me, I do spray. I just spray my perfume. Next up, we have La Nuit Trésor. And uh, this is, I love all my fragrances, you guys, but if I had to recommend some from my collection, this would be one of them okay uh it is sexy this is a date night scent okay this is what you wear when you like the guy you cannot wear this on the first date when you don't know him okay this is when you like him and you need him to know that you're you know i would say this is a perfect date night scent i mean what do you think? Do you have fragrances that you just specifically wear for specific occasions? If I was to recommend a perfume for a date, a date with a guy you like, you know, because you can't wear this for somebody that you don't see the future with, you know, you need them to know you try. Okay. That is just my opinion. Let me know what you think because I think some perfumes are just, just set the mood, you know? They let them know what you're about. <laughs> but I love this one, you guys. This is 
a must have, I would say. Just go and smell it if you can. I will link all the, um, the names and the websites where I got my perfumes from um, down below in the description box. So just check it out there. And if I don't pronounce these names well, sorry, <laughs> I'm not very good. Um, but yeah, just look for it in the description box. So that's, yeah, that's Lenuit Tresor. And the bottle is just beautiful, isn't it? The next one is Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb. Flower Bomb is a flower bomb, really. It is so good. Another masky scent, sweet. Uh, it is so good. You guys, <laughs> I'll say that about all my fragrances. Mm. It is feminine, okay? It is sweet. And I think men, men tend to like sweet scents. So I don't think you can go wrong with this one. Um, I have worn it a couple of times. It doesn't last as long on my skin, but other people, they say that it lasts forever on their skin, 12 hours even. But for me, it doesn't last for very long, so I have to spray a little bit more. Um, it is good, you cannot go wrong. And most people wear this one as, as their signature scent. You can wear it to work, you know, and anywhere else really it's an everyday scent but it does have a hint of sexiness in it so yeah you should go give it a go every time i smell a, a fragrance i always picture an outfit with it uh the weather the mood the vibe that i'll be in while i'm wearing the fragrance i think it just puts the outfit together and i just visualize everything in my head so even for what I'm wearing today, I think Flower Bomb would work well with it. So you see what I mean? So yes, I think go and explore, go and try different fragrances and, you know, be transported to different places, events, you know, just by a smell. You know, fragrances do a lot for me. Um, yeah, so... <laughs> Again, guys, let me know if you want me to go in depth about the notes, you know, um, in each fragrance. So just to let you know that there's actually a specific way that I store my fragrances for them to last long, to not go bad. Uh, I have a special place that I put them and then I rotate them on my um, vanity table or my vanity desk, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, as seasons come, I change my fragrances as well. It is important that I store them well because yeah, like I said, I do want them to last long and I do have a lot. So I keep them in like a dry, a cool place, you know, dark place. So yeah, I mean, I could make another video about that and just show you how I keep my fragrances. So let me know in the comment section if you would like to see that as well. Now, moving on to my next one. This is Jimmy Choo by Jimmy Choo. Mmm. Oh, this, okay. I like the other ones. It has a fresh element to it. This is a fresh scent, but it's gourmand at the same time. I love gourmand fragrances. Uh, it is, it is very feminine, ladylike, suitable for the office. I mean, they all have the same vibe, but they have different personalities. Um, yeah, I mean, I love this one. It is also an everyday scent if you want it to be. It is not overpowering, so you can get away with it in an office setting. Um, yeah, Jimmy Choo. The next one we have is By the Fireplace by Replica. Uh, Replica is a company that makes fragrances that simulate places and scenarios. For example, just like this one says, by the fireplace. So it smells like you are by a fireplace. You can smell the burning wood, you can, the smoke, you know. It is very heavy, very dense. When I wear this one, it has to be in winter. It has to be on a very cold day and I have to be outdoors and not indoors because I feel a bit 
claustrophobic when I wear it because it's that dense and heavy, just like being by a fireplace. Um, I picture wearing a very heavy, warm coat when I'm wearing it. I think it'll be good for like snowy places. Where I live, it doesn't get cold enough to wear this that often, but I love it. When I first smelt it, I said, I must have it. <laughs> Just like every other perfume. It, it is an experience. All of their fragrances are an experience. So go and smell them. They've got uh, one that's called Lipstick On. It smells like a lipstick. <laughs> Um, by the beach, it smells like you are by the beach, you know, so, you know, and I plan on collecting a few more of these, so this next one. Okay, I'm gonna struggle pronouncing this. Lamparatrice by Dolce and Gabbana. I mean, it's kind of a popular scent as well. It's got grapefruit in it. You can smell it. You can smell the grapefruit. It is sweet, but sour at the same time. It is a fresh scent. Uh, <laughs> I get compliments for this one every time I wear it. It wasn't my favorite when I first bought it. It was a blind buy, but I've grown to love it. And like I said, I get compliments on it. And when I feel like being complimented, this is one of the ones that I put on. So. It's fresh, you know, t-shirt, um, casual wear, or if you are dressed up, it just makes you feel fresh, like you're clean, you know? So yeah, other people will appreciate the smell around you as well. Yeah. Now, the next house is Tom Ford. This is Black Orchid. Many of you might know about it, but um, it is a scent that is not for everyone, you guys. It, Tom Ford, you gotta have, it's an acquired taste. Tom Ford scents are very complicated. They are unisex, they are heavy, um, and very sexy, like, this is really nice. Ah, oh, this is so, this is so good. Yes, it's another classic Tom Ford. He has a private blend of fragrances as well. Uh, but this is just his designer fragrances. I also have some of his niche fragrances, like his private blend as well, but this is his designer fragrances. It's a bit confusing, but uh, yeah, it's, you gotta go smell this. Do not blind buy this. You either love it or you hate it. This, I imagine a woman, a very confident woman, going on a red carpet, wearing a black velvet dress, or a woman wearing all leather, in winter with, you know, boots, like sexy and edgy. Yeah. If you like to hide in crowds, if you don't like to stand out, you can't, you can't wear this one. This one is, I'm here, let you got to know. Like, you know, it's that scent. So, uh, yes, I love it. I wear it because I like you to know that I'm wearing something expensive, you know? <laughs> So yeah, Black Orchid by Tom Ford. The next one is Dior Addict. It's called Addict because it can be addictive. It is an, it's a mature vanilla scent. Just vanilla, really. Really good vanilla though, not cheap. You smell expensive. It's a good nighttime scent. Um, Another favorite, uh, it's really good. That's what I'm gonna say. It's very simple, but really, really classy. Really good, very feminine. So yeah, give it a go, Dior Addict. I love the bottle. Don't you love the bottle? I like the bottle. It's so sleek. Yeah, I do picture someone wearing um, a nice blue silk dress with nice heels. 
just smell sweet vanilla. The next one is Elizabeth and James Nirvana. Mm, this is the bottle. It's a very interesting bottle. Yeah, it's nice. And it just says the name just there. It gives me the Tom Ford Black Orchid vibes. It's, it's, it's deep, dark and incense-y, you know? Musky, uh, like a light cigar smell. Don't ask me how I know what cigar smell like, but I imagine this is how <laughs> it would smell. But it's not heavy, heavy. It's a good casual scent as well. Most people have the rose version. I never got to smell the rose version. And this one was a blind buy based on the notes that I read. And I know what I like, so I was not disappointed when I bought it. But I wouldn't recommend you blind buy this one. It is good, but you know, as long as you know what you're into, then go ahead and read the notes. And if you like the sound of them, then buy it. But it's not a safe scent, I would say. It's, yeah, it's not for everyone, but I love it. I like it. That's why I have it. So yeah, this is Nirvana. I don't know if you've ever seen the packaging for these perfumes. This is Scandal by Jean-Paul Gaultier, I think. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. But this is a flanker to the original one. There is another one. This is by night. But I prefer this version to the other one because, let's get that out of there. Because the other one is just honey. A very strong scent of honey, just honey. I mean, it's nice in winter and everything and I don't know, but I gravitated towards this one. This is sweeter, sexier, deeper. It's more interesting and more complex than the first one, The Scandal. Uh, I recommend The Scandal by Night because, and <laughs> they are so strong, you guys. They are so strong, so heavy and Everyone in the room and the one next to it will smell you <laughs> with this. So I I wear it in winter or nighttime where it's a little bit cooler uh, because it is a very heavy scent. It will last 12 hours plus easily on my skin. I mean, keep in mind everyone's pH and body chemistry is different, but I've never heard anyone saying that these scandal scents don't last on them. They last a long time and you get your money's worth because you don't have to spray a lot. Uh, yeah, it will take me a while to get through this bottle, but I do really, really like this scent. And just look at this packaging, you guys. I will show you a clearer view of them, but it's just well thought out. What do you think? Next one is Chanel Noir, okay? Very appropriate for the packaging. Noir meaning black, so like black, you know, you know, smart. But it's so classy, isn't it? It's nice. <laughs> I love this one, you guys. Ah, uh, sexy, mature, uh, confident woman, knows who she is, knows what she wants. Uh, it is near and dear to my heart, okay? Um, it has similar scents to the other perfumes that I like, but they just do each perfume differently. And Chanel's ingredients are top-notch, you know? They use natural products, so you don't have to worry about chemicals and all of those things. So I really like Chanel fragrances. Um, what else can I tell you? It is, it is a sexy scent, you guys. It's a Chanel woman, you know? So you know she's classy. She's not just gonna lay it all out on the table. She's 
seductive. She is mysterious. She is gorgeous. Okay, she is. She is the essence of woman. <laughs> yeah. So it has. You know, tonka bean, vanilla, patchouli, uh, white musk, you know, all those scents that I like. Um, patchouli in fragrances makes it last uh, longer. So this one lasts really long as well. I love my Chanel fragrances. I have a few in my collection that I could share with you at some point. Uh, Yes, so it would seem at this point that all my fragrances are for nighttime or most of them except for the Jimmy Choo and anyway, the point is I do have some fresh scents I could talk about. Uh, this is one of them. This is Dolce & Gabbana, light blue, but this is the intense version. This is a classy woman who lives somewhere very expensive <laughs> near the beach you know it is it is just classy and fresh what else could I say really it gets compliments it does the job at first when I smell I was like this is nothing special it's a bit odd but you know I've smelled better you know I smell to these niche perfumes I'm trying to be a perfume snob but it is actually very good when I sprayed it and I got like three four compliments within two hours I was like okay okay we're working with something here so yeah it's a good one Dolce & Gabbana intense intense I have a number of Thierry Mugler um, fragrances he is a great perfumer, you guys. All his fragrances are unique, very unique, very out there. So strange. You may call them strange. He even has one that's called Alien, very appropriate. I'll show you that one later. But um, the one I'm gonna show you now is, like I said, by Thierry Mugler. I think that's how you pronounce his name. I don't know. <sighs> All my perfumes are in 100ml bottles or more, but I could not find the 100ml one. Um, so I'm stuck with this 30ml for now until I could find a bigger bottle. I really like this one. That's why I would want a bigger bottle of it. It is hazelnut, vanilla. So you smell chocolatey, but yeah. You smell chocolatey, it's nice, okay? And when it warms up on your body and your skin, it just, it gives you a hug, you know? It's very, very appropriate for a couch session <laughs> um, with a significant other if you have one. Cuddled, um, warm, you know, with a cup of hot Milo or something, just that vibe. It is so nice. And if you do wanna go out, it can be a nighttime scent. Uh, it is good, it is chocolate, you guys. It is chocolate and vanilla, all the best things. Um, oh, it is so good. It is so good. Mm, I wanna spray this one now, but I can't, I'll mix my fragrances. So yeah, that's, that's Angel Muse. It's good, good, okay, give it a go. It is very strong as well. Um, it'll last you all day on your skin or on your clothes, whatever your preference is. H how do you spray your fragrances? Because I find that when you spray fragrances on clothing, it stays longer. But who wants their jackets to smell like the same fragrance? What if you want to change your uh, fragrance for the day and then, you know, you smell like the fragrance from yesterday on your jacket so that's why I like to spray it on my skin occasionally on my clothes but mainly on my skin so yeah angel muse oh such a muse <laughs> this is alien by Thierry Mugler <laughs> anyway Alien is alien. I mean, look at the bottle. It is the strangest fragrance ever. Mm. Yeah, white floral. Jasmine. Mm, I couldn't, I could 
could not I could not identify what was what the other scent was because it is a very unique scent. It, it's very different. Um, you either love it or you hate it. But I discovered it's balsamic. Now, none of my other fragrances have that. So I don't know how they, how they, it is, it is strange you guys, but it's, it's a feminine scent. So it's still womanly. Um, some men wear it too, which is, which is cool. It works for both sexes. So this can be a signature scent. I know it's, it's a signature scent to a lot of people. Uh, it is appropriate for work, everyday life, you know, just like a signature scent does. The way the scent smells is the way the bottle is on the outside. It is deep. If purple had a smell, this is what it would smell like. And the bottle is strange, but classy at the same time. That's what this fragrance smells like. Do not blind buy this. You either love it or you hate it. And people who love it are diehard fans. I mean, they've been wearing it for years and years. So I understand that they have reformulated it. Um, the original is really, really good, but you can't tell the difference if you've never smelt the original. This is the original. I bought this way before they changed the formulation. So it is good. Would I repurchase it? No, but while I have it, I'm going to enjoy it. You know, this Lenwick Trezor that I showed you earlier is like a mature version of this one I'm about to show you, which is Trezor Midnight Rose. Now, they are both by Lancome. And I mean, this one is more casual than the other one. That one is more date night, like I said. This one can be a date one, it can be a daytime one, it can be a casual wear one. Look at that little flower on the side. It, it describes the scent, you guys. I love it. I really like it. It's romantic. This is C by Giorgio Armani. Now, from my understanding, this is a very popular scent for good reason. It is feminine. It is musky. It is floral, but deep. It is good good it is good it is so good <laughs> ah it is so nice this is actually a hundred and let's see 150 mils of it um it's gonna take me a while to get through it but i really enjoy it it is i like oriental scents as you can probably tell but this is a floral oriental which is very appropriate. It is definitely a signature scent um, type of fragrance. If you wish it to be, it is a date night scent. It could be a daytime scent. It could be anything you want. I believe that whatever your mood, whatever you feel like wearing, wear it with confidence, you know? Um, so yeah, Giorgio Armani C. I, I can't talk too much about this one because I know you probably have heard so many things about it. Versace Dylan Blue. Okay, these debates about how to pronounce it. Donatella says Versace, v Versace. I mean, it's Italian, that's how they say it, but people just say Versace, so I don't know. How would you pronounce it? Let me know in the comment section. Hmm. Anyway, this is Dylan Blue. <laughs> It is a fruity floral, okay? It is a fresh scent. Um, when you first spray it, you get that Granny Smith apple. Oh, I love Granny Smith apples. Um, yeah, and then it progresses to, you know, the black currant, peach, it's got rose, it's got jasmine. 
it is a beautiful feminine fresh it's passionate it's it's attention grabbing it's fresh it's also very simple but complex it's nice it's very nice it's classy it's fresh it's fresh very fresh it's nice and look at the bottle wow moschino gold look at that bottle i initially i thought the bottle was tacky <laughs> when i first saw it i said aren't you trying too hard but you know it's grown on me it's so cute and you automatically want to do that but that doesn't work that's not how you spray it you actually have to open it like this and then you um spray oh it is good it is good it is affordable it's not expensive but it smells expensive it's another fresh scent oh i get so many compliments for this one oh everyone everyone asks me what i'm wearing when i wear this i i might have to buy another bottle you guys even though i have a lot of fragrances but i think it is worth it uh i just need to have this in my collection it is good it is good it is good give it a try like i said it is fresh it is a floral i'm trying to see here if it uh, it doesn't really tell us what is in it i'm not really sure when i smell it i don't pick up any particular notes but i know it's just a fruity musky floral scent it works fresh um it works for daytime it works for nighttime but you do smell fresh and musky at the same time. It is good. I think fragrance is very personal. Everyone has different tastes. Everybody has different chemistry. Whatever works for you, your lifestyle, your environment, your mood, your likes, dislikes, you know? So yeah, I mean, we could talk about fragrances all day long and I have so many more I would love to share. So just leave me a comment below. Tell me what you thought of my little collection. Let me know how you feel about fragrances and just give my video a like if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell down below so you get to know every time I upload a video. So yeah, until next time. Bye.